वेलकम गाइस टू एमसीक्यूज ऑफ सीए फाइनल एसीएमपी सेल्फ पेस्ट पेपर दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग नाउ दीज एमसीक्यूज आर टू बी सॉल्व इफ योर चैप्टर इज कंप्लीटली ओवर आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द लॉजिक इन डेप्थ ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वराइन सो लेट्स डू दिस एमसीक्यू वेरिएंसेस व्हिच अराइज ड्यू टू इनएफिशिएंसी ऑफ द कॉस्ट सेंटर कॉस्ट सेंटर मींस डिपार्टमेंट और रिस्पांसिबिलिटी सेंटर हु इज रिस्पांसिबल टू कंट्रोल द कॉस्ट इज व्हाट आर द फोर ऑप्शंस A controllable variance. B uncontrollable variance. C under controllable. There is no term like that. Then D planning variance. Now think of the answer yourself. Try to be commenting the answer before I will explain and do the needful thing. Sorry, I'll try to do the things with the help of the example. This is the same example that I gave in the previous MCQ, but now the other part. The price that we all set on the first day for the raw material, the standard price that was rupees four. But then this was a standard set on the first day. On first day, how much can you estimate? So during the year. the shortage of raw materials was there, and you know that market prices increased to rupees seven. the purchase manager did a great job in negotiating with the suppliers he selected the best supplier closest to the factory and ultimately purchased the raw materials at the rate of rupees 6 if it was still your ca inter and you were told compute material price variance per unit okay then in that case you will ignore anything that changed during the year because you were always interested in the standards on the first day so therefore you would have completely ignored this data If you would have completely ignored this data, you would have thought like this: Sir, standard was four rupees. We should have purchased material at four rupees. We purchased in reality at six rupees. So therefore, sir, variance in this case was too adverse. But this is not correct. In fact, there is a drawback of standard costing that we ignore the changes during the year. Let's consider those changes. Try to be thinking that from four rupees, in any case, the prices had increased to seven. This is due to market movements. These are not due to the purchase manager. This is uncontrollable part, also called as planning variance. So therefore, four it increased to seven. Okay, so three adverse was because of the market changes. These are uncontrollable variances. But try to be thinking in reality. How did the purchase manager perform? He should have purchased at four. No, he should have purchased at what rate? Yeah, seven. He actually purchased at what rate? Six. In fact, he is responsible for saving rupee one for the company. So therefore, this guy's variance will be one favorable. This variance often called as controllable variance. A purchase manager should only be charged for this variance as such. This is also called as operational variance. Let's go back to our question and let's search. So variances which arise due to inefficiency, it could be efficiency also to be honest, of the cost center is obviously these are controllable variances. Also can be called as operational variances, but that operational word is not there. So answer should be A, controllable variances. Yeah, that's the correct answer.